Inferno is the debut EP, or demo, whichever you call it, from Zepter, a Linz, Austria-based heavy metal band, and one that really focuses on the 70s into 80s transition. They're heavily influenced by everything from Thin Lizzy and the new wave of British heavy metal, and that translates both to speed metal moments and others like riffs that would fit in a budgie record, but would also fit on a quartz record. Uh, while their influences are, they kind of range from heavy psychedelic rock through, uh, you know, uh, cult bands like Virtue and modern bands like Century. They're aiming for a, th a th kind of a throwback heavy metal style, but they have a lot of energy to give out. These are guys that came from garage rock bands and uh, groups that had a, give a lot of energy. And so this record can't help but, but bump into speed metal along the way because they do pick up the pace and they're not willing to be fully naive and, and slow way down. Uh, so it's not all stompers. This is more, more of an anthemic uh, sort of tape. And uh, we'll cut to a clip here just to get a sense of what it sounds like. And then I'll kind of explain why this was a cool thing for me. So there's just a couple of interesting notes about this record. I think there, this is still very much a nascent production in terms. It's all very professional. It sounds really great, but they haven't quite found their one thing they're going to stick to. There's something authentic about the way that this tape presents itself in a sense that they're they're kind of figuring it out as they're going along, but they're producing something that is just consistent enough to where it feels like the same author wrote all of these pieces. And so it makes for a strong listen. It, it makes for a continuous flow. There's some moments that feel more modern than others. And I might have said the same thing about like a Tokyo Blade record where, you know, it sounds like it should have been come out in 1981, but it's still has that spirit in it in 1984 and that, that kind of that's kind of what this feels like it's like they're a little bit late to the party but they still remember how to be great and when the the thin lizzy type guitar stuff shows up it kind of reminds you that you're in that era but there might be a little bit of of heavier riffs that were more 84 rather than 81 and i, I liked that if you're interested in that kind of minutia there's also some priest influence on here and You'll, you'll get it when you're in there, and uh, every song is catchy enough to where you'll, you'll remember those moments. But for me, this was just kind of the right sound and something that's worth uh, just getting excited about because this band has a lot of potential. They've been consistent in the past with other groups, and I think that the more they focus on this, uh, we'll see that potential realized pretty quickly. So for me, that's a kind of an early uh, endorsement because I think this band is worth listening to already, and they could only get better from here if they keep producing songs of this caliber that have that that knack for something that's a little bit catchy, a little bit inspired and inspiring in its listen. So check it out for yourself. It released on the 8th of August, and uh, go ahead, read my review, uh, and uh, see what I thought. Music 